I'm Chai Surui. I was the only indigenous and Brazilian person to speak during the opening of COP26 on Monday. I brought the reality of indigenous peoples and the urgency of action. After my speech, I was intimidated by a government official who told me not to attack Brazil. I was also attacked by President Jair Bolsonaro and now I'm getting many racist and hateful messages on social media. This deserved fossil of the weekend goes a hopeless regime which reduced the space for civil society, dismantled climate policy and allowed thugs in its delegation. Hey Izzy. Hey Louie. Can you taste that? Tastes like bitter loser to me. And you'd be right because Australia has come second yet again in fossil of the day here at COP26 in Glasgow. Is that so Louie? Tell me more mate. In a move so slick it could be Angus Taylor made. As of today public consultation is now open on 10 potential areas for offshore petroleum in and around Oz. Bloody hell, 10. That's not holding anything back. No, and neither is Minister for Resources and Water Keith Pitt, who said that ongoing petroleum exploitation is critical, and with oil and get the, with the oil and gas sector to play pivotal roles in our domestic energy needs and domestic job generation. Keith Pitiful, more like. Well, I'd sure like to explore a few hard truths with him, Louis. Yeah, and this public consultation will apparently help explorers understand factors they need to consider when applying for future uh, fossil fuel, fuel expansion. Well, understand this factor, respectfully, Minister. Fossil fuels have no place in our Australian future, period. You can take that fossil and shove it in the ground where it belongs. So what to do, folks? Do we let Australia keep lagging like a lizard? and leave climate action in the sticks? Well, the rumours are true that the coffee at the Australian Pavilion is the best on the COP block, with significantly higher performance and rate of satisfaction than our negotiating team delivers. And whilst better baristas are really the least Australia can do, given this atrocious COP run, it's not all that you can do. Next time you visit the Australia Pavilion, and by all means take a cappuccino to go, but leave them a piece of your mind. Send a clear message to Australia. You can't keep being latte to the parte. It's time to jump on the Climate Espresso, Australia. This is Climate Action Network Australia. Reporting to you from Glasgow.